Would you say that your primary income comes from you doing scenes? No, my primary income comes from me owning uh, movies that I produced over the last 12 years. Okay. Does a significant part of your income come from doing scenes? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, later today you have a scene, you show up, you can't get hard. Right. No matter what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Week later you do another scene, you can't get hard. Mm -hmm. Five times in a row you do a scene, yeah. you can't get hard. War starts getting Chris around the industry, so. like don't hire Lex because mm -hmm. he can't perform. He's mm -hmm. wasting everyone's time and money. Would you consider at that point getting an implant? Absolutely not. Why? It's not worth it for me. <laughs> because the thing about and there's it, steps. I, like you want to spike at that point from the next no, step. No, no, no. No, well, see, I can't speak for other guys. But I'm, I'm pretty much at the end of my career. Right. I'm, I'm in my 17th year. And the fact that I'm still ranked num num amongst the top 10 guys in the world after 17 years means that I, I'm at the end of my rainbow. So if I was to get to a problem where it was like that, I would quit before I would go to that lane. See what I'm saying? Because once you get an implant, it go, it's for the rest of your it's life. Right. So I wouldn't do something that dramatic just to stay in porno. Not okay. at this point. If All I right. was at the beginning of my career, uh, okay. maybe different. Okay. So let me modify the question a little bit. So you're at the end of your career. Mm. You stop doing it. But you still like having sex. Right. So every time you have sex, you can't get hard. <laughs> in Would I get it in, in your personal life? Uh, nah, I just I I, I, don't, see I don't know. Getting in a relationship could... based on sex. No, no, I mean just no, just strictly. Point. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Vlad. But um, wow, I don't know, man, because it's different. Girls getting you know breast implants or booty implants, but to put a mechanism of action inside your body. Yeah. The just for sex. Just for sex. Nah. Nah. So so you'd rather not have sex I mean ever look, again. No, nah, I mean if I could I mean if I couldn't get a heart on, would I yeah. would I consider putting an input I mean look, there's people that are diabetic <laughs> that have had to do it for, for medical purposes, you know, and, and um me personally I think it would I I would just call it a wrap. I've had a lot of sex. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're <laughs> scraping the inside of your penis completely Man, out. I mean, I could call it, look, I can call it a wrap because I've had enough sex. I've had enough sex for 10 men. Yeah, but. And that's not a bolt, so that's just fat. I'm saying that's what, what would allow me to walk right. away from well, it. Well, well, more than 10 men. But. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> but. You still like having sex. Yeah, I do. So, but I mean. So that's what I'm saying. So now you're looking at the possibility of taking away something you really like versus getting this operation. Like I said, I've had a lot of good sex and... I think you'll be fortunate and never have to worry about that. Yeah, if I, I, for me, if I can, I would think I'll be able to walk away from, from, from sex. 20 minutes out of a 24 hour period is not, does not, the, the other 23 hours and 40 minutes you gotta walk around with an implant would be far greater than the 20 minutes I have using it. Wait a minute, there's 20 minute scenes with you? Ours are always like an hour, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, babe, babe, not yet, no, no, let me get a different angle. No, there's a lot, I mean, wow. I, you know, I'm familiar with a lot of um, European use of Caverjet, mm -hmm. but I just didn't, I was unfamiliar with that, people using it on a regular basis. Oh yeah. On a daily basis. And I, now they're looking into getting a pump. Multiple ones that oh. I know. And it's because, like right now, one of them in particular in, in injects, and because he injects so much, only part of his dick actually gets hard. So the base, it, it looks like you take, for instance, the soda can, and I'll cover labels. Down here is completely like loose. Up here at the top, at the tip is loose, but in here it's hard as a rock. So it just like swivels. So he has to get it in and he can't go all the way in because it's going to swivel and be weird. So he can only go this and he can go like that. Because if you go all the way in, it looks like it's soft and bent. And he's been, now he's looking at getting a pump. And I'm like, I get it. But when I started dating him years ago, when he first came into the States, I was like, babe, you never had to use anything to get hard. And he's like, but I can perform better, give a better scene do crazy things, and I get more work. And he loves performing, and he loves performing for the camera, and he loves being a star, so I get it. 
there are people, especially male performers, that have bigger egos than the females. Mm. And it's sad, but it's true. Well, I mean, you know, we're in a profession where only a few number of people at any one time get to do this as a job. I mean, you know, if you look at male performers, there's less than a hundred, I would say, easily. I'd say even less, I'd say more. like, I don't know, my list of 10, yeah. so maybe there's 25. Yeah, I, I'm talking about there's maybe less than 100 noted male performers in the world at any given point. Yeah. So very, very few people get the opportunity to do this, but and many, and many guys will go to great lengths to, to, to continue doing this as long as they can. But at a certain point, you got to know when it's time to hang up your shoes. And, and I, I, I just would rather be tired before I get to the point where I'm failing on, on set regularly or where I have to to do something like an implant, because I, I know I couldn't go that far. I couldn't do the needle either. Well, and not only that, but now you have an open wound and a butthole. And that is the quickest way to get HIV. An open wound on a man's dick and a girl taking a cock. Open wound because of the implant? No, because when they shoot in your... Oh, right. You now oh, have okay. an open wound and a cut on top of their dick, or depending on down here. Mm -hmm. And they're in your ass. I don't tear. <laughs> but some girls tear. Mm. And now you have a tear from her butt, and luckily we have our testing system, yeah. but if it wasn't clean, boom. And Mark Davis actually, or Mark, what was his name? The one with HIV in 93? Mm. Mark Wallace? Mark Wallace, yeah, yeah Wallace, right. Well, Mark Wallace was HIV positive, faked his test, yeah, and got a bunch of, Correct. A bunch of other female performers. All anal sex. Right. The one I knew about was Jordan McKnight. Yeah. You worked with her? No, that was before. Before, before your time. Yeah. But, I, um, but I enjoyed her, yes. Number one, I'm wondering why he's not in prison for doing this. Well, like, the but, industry protected him because of the company he was associated with. And they, he was able to do it for six months before. I mean, I mean, you could be protected by the industry, but the laws are the laws. I mean, I, we, we, just, uh, we just posted a story about this, uh, this ex-college wrestler who uh, just got 30 years for knowingly infecting people with HIV. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, th this is a real thing. Like, like if you are HIV positive and you expose other people to HIV, yeah. you, it is a death you, you, you are, you are, you know, you are going to be criminally charged. Maybe the laws were not what they were back then. Mm. I know? would say that. Well, within the industry, the within understanding our industry. of HIV in general back then wasn't as high. Yeah, I mean, I, I, well, I, that I, was before thirty-day testing, though. Yeah, when exactly. One law said that. I, I would love to find this guy and, and interview him. I'm sure he's hiding. I don't think he is. He still. Yeah, he is. is still alive. Yeah, he is. Uh, you know about him? Yeah, I know where he is. You know where he is? Yeah. Hmm. No, because they gave him a job. Like the company, he, like you said, that company he, he still is works very in good to him. He, he works in the industry, so. Not like, as far as industry, like people would see him. He's a backroom type person. Uh -huh. Does he edit? He still edits. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that being said, I mean, I wasn't around, and yeah, he helped to implement finally the testing that we needed, so pros and cons, but our industry is like the most f forgiving. A chick will go and get destroyed, come to set, ruin like three months of everybody's shooting, leave, come back, say, I'm back, I'm doing another get, like, let's go, and we'll take her back, like, all right, well, she's fine now. What do you mean by destroyed? She'll just have STDs and everything? Mm, well, she'll be caught with a lot of them because she, she, it's her drug use and her... Unfortunately, the industry, again, fast money, fast life. And so these girls will get spun and take, taken into that aspect of it. And then they'll come in and they'll try and shoot. And there's girls that literally have passed out like while getting DP'd on a browser set. And they're like, we got to cut the scene. Like she's just fallen out on the bed. And it's, she's still working today. And you're just like, why do you want to promote her behavior by hiring her still? Because we're like, hey, you know what? Teach their own. We'll get your shit together, come back. They normally don't fully get their shit together, but they still come back. And we'll take them back. It's like, all right, come on. Bring your pussy well, and your well, asshole. Let's go. Well, you know, let's not, let's not permeate the whole industry with nah. the, the, the problems of one or two or three people. I mean, the industry is much broader than those few people that fuck up like that. True. And I think if we look at either mainstream entertainment, there's people that are continual fuck ups as well that keep getting second or third chances. Yeah. You know. 
So it's not, because I don't want people to believe that yeah, the whole industry is, you know, porno everybody's drugging, like, drugging, well, because I've drug. never done a yeah. drug in my life. I've never even smoked a cigarette. No, I can't say that. I, you know, I, I've done I quite can. a few recreational um, <laughs> um, party favors, if you will. Slut. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? That does represent, you know, the whole sphere right. of the industry. But as far as just rapping and being able to put words together and flow and say what you want to say and make it rhyme, he's definitely one of the nicest one that when it comes to that. Would you say he's the king, of, the king of hip hop? Nah, I wouldn't say that because I'm in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I said for some reason I feel like some of them motherfuckers is just renting the house to do that shit and uh, find out some of them was. I can't do that. You know, I ain't want to do that. I wanted to show where the fuck I was living at at the time. 